In Rail Fanning with the Bednars Volume 20, we continue the DNA and Conrail action from the Bednar Collection between July and October of 1989. While the Susquehanna had acquired newer power sets painted in Susquehanna Library, they were still operating with a collage of foreign power, borrowed from wherever they could to help keep the trains moving. Conrail's volume of traffic into and out of the Lehigh Valley was steadily growing. With upgrades to infrastructure, train speeds were increasing. Outside of Allentown, it became more difficult to chase trains at the usual location, as they would be long gone before they could be captured. The typical hotspots continue to host a constant parade of trains, with vehicle traffic being backed up for miles. We'll also rail fan a Blue Mountain and Reading excursion on the Perky Omen branch down to East Greenville and return in October of 1989 with the 425. As usual, Big Mike provides the commentary. That guy there walking, he's gonna take a shower. There you are, there. Holy humanity. This is ALSR, Bleed and Burn, July of 89. You see the mix of the Conrail and NS power. 3376 leads the charge and a bunch of rebel units. Southerns. There's some of the burn rats. They make better doors than windows. July 3, 89. He's bound for a yard in downtown. Westbound now we have mail nine in the rain. The everlasting lake there was called Lake Glaxo, named after the Glaxo boys who took pictures there all the time. Mail three. There's a westbound coming out of the yard. All the people in line are just waiting for 15 minutes to line in clear. You might want to take a drink out of Lake Laxo, because you're going to be here a while. Here they were having a big gathering for the people from Ardmore coming up to see the trains. They were parking in that parking lot. They had to come through the lake first. They're all heading up for the 39 cent hamburger stand and then to come back for viewing the trains. The eastbound DNH PYRP with a mix of Susquehanna power and in the yard. There's your lineup for more and more from Ardmore Polytechnic. And PIOI going down the hall. Here's the balloons. The NS officials asked for a balloon race so they could look over Conrail from above. It's before they had drones. There's Lake Waxo again at its height. People get in their cars while 39 cent hamburger stand having a sale on hamburgers. There's a chicken. Whoop! 
got cold feet. I'm gonna make this other guy wait at the crossing so he can't get slammed by a freight. Oh no, I don't wanna get wet. There is King Dog. This is at my brother Keith Station, East Mountain Junction. See King in the foreground, who's a half a wolf. And there goes the westbound of the field to go out to Reading. Another of the endless, slow-moving freight on Basin Street. Guys get aboard. No guys get off. Let a boy get on there. That's good for DNS balloons. They can see up there. They're taking notes from the Goodyear blimp. Now let's go out to Conrail, Emos, Mail 3, Nicolines Lane. Here comes P-I-O-I. Even the SD-50s are getting a little well-worn by this time. Here in Blue Mountain and Reading, and taking over to Perk and they ran an excursion in October 89 down to East Greenville and back. There's Russ Yackel there. Charlie Cockle was the engineer. There's one of them CF7. And our RPPY leads her. that we leave October of 1989 next time we'll see it'll be 1989 and 90 have a good trip guys